We all have them, and they can hold us back from achieving our full potential. But what exactly is a limiting belief? It's a thought or mindset that restricts us from reaching our goals and dreams. And the impact of limiting beliefs can be seen not just in our personal lives, but also in our finances. In this video, you will learn the steps and process to eliminate a limiting belief in under 20 minutes using proven NLP techniques. By the end of the video, you will have a better understanding of how to identify your limiting beliefs and how to overcome them to reach financial freedom. So, let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me in this training video where we're going to learn more about the submodalities belief change script. To make this possible, Nini is here with me and we're going to work with Nini today and eliminate these self-limiting beliefs. Nini, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now, as we begin, what is a belief that is limiting you? What's a belief that is holding you back from achieving your goals? Okay. My single defining focus, the goal I set for myself this year was at the end of 28th of December 2023, I'll be able to reach the sales conversion rate plus to 50% consistently. However, the limiting belief that I have is that I doubt in myself, I'm not quite sure I'll be able to achieve that with the consistency. Uh, at the moment, I can reach between 40 to 45%. Uh, on every sales call. However, up to 50% consistently, that kind of, you know, cre creating some of the self-doubt in myself. And when did you decide that you couldn't close at 50%? I think when I said that goal, when I see that, oh, 50% consistently, I'm not quite sure I'll be able to do that. I know I can do it, but with the consistency, I feel like, oh, I need to maintain that performance. That is what I start questioning myself. And as you start to question yourself mm -hmm. and say, I can't close at 50%, how is that a problem? The problem is first creating uh, that anxious feeling inside of me and then those anxiousness creating some self-doubt of course uh, also that will impacting my performance when it comes to selling uh, thirdly that also will impact you know uh, the branding of course you know and how other people especially the business partner will see me so you feel anxious mm -hmm. it causes you to doubt yourself and then it impacts your performance. Yes. As well as how people possibly may look at you. Yeah. And the brand. Mm -hmm. And how is that a problem? How is the problem is that we're impacting my bank account, <laughs> of course. We're impacting my energy. But, uh, but also, I think, impacting my self-belief. You know, that the believing that I have in myself. It impacts the bank account, your energy and the belief that you have in yourself. Mm. And how is that a problem? Um, problem can be, I don't think that would be the healthier cycles because that won't help me to hit my financial goal this year. So it's going to hurt the bank account. Yes. And how does that hurt you? <laughs> um, I have so much things that I would love to do this year. Um, you know, with 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 a with a with more extra money coming in. What specifically? Uh, for example, I would love to start enroll myself into the master degree. Uh, also wants to expand the business, you know, try different platform. Um, also having that freedom, be able to travel more often with a family. 
So you won't hit your financial target Mm -hmm. and then you won't be able to do what you want. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to enroll into your master's degree. Mm -hmm. You won't be able to expand your business Mm -hmm. onto other platforms and you won't have the freedom to travel. Is that correct? Yeah, that often as they want it. Mm. So this limiting belief of I can't close at 50% is not helping you. No, it's not. It's hurting you. So rather than having the limiting belief of I can't close at 50%, what belief would you like to have instead? What is the opposite to that? Will be I'll, I will be able to close 50%. On every sales. Mm. And if we were just to simplify it, if the limiting belief is I can't close at 50%, the positive belief, the opposite would be I... I can close. I can close. Now, if you had the belief of I can close at 50%, Mm -hmm. how would you feel? I will feel excited. I will feel motivated. I will feel, you know, like more confidence in myself when it comes to selling. Excited, motivated, yep. and confident. Mm. Excellent. Now, is it all right for your unconscious mind to make this change today and for you to be aware of it consciously? Yes. Now, as you think about this limiting belief of, I can't close at 50%, do you have a picture? Yes, I do. Excellent. What's the picture? The picture is that I w- I'm sitting in front of my computer having the Zoom call with a prospect and... The client just gave me some excuses, and then I didn't um, try to convince the client, and I just said, "Okay, that's fine." Excellent. <laughs> now that picture is in—is it in black and white or color? Uh, it's color, but it's good. It's is it near or far from you? Very close, like right in front of my face. Near or far? Near. Near. And is it bright or dim? Quite dim. And the location: front, back, left, right, up, down. Front in my face. And the size of the picture, small, medium, large, extra large? Uh, the size of my head. Small, medium, large or extra large? What would you say? Um, medium. Medium. Yeah. And is it associated or dissociated? Are you looking through your own eyes or do you see your body in the picture? I see my body in the picture. And what are the sounds? The sound is that the, the prospect talking and I just say, okay, that's fine. And is the sound towards the front, the back, the left, the right, or up or down? Uh, towards me. Location, front, back, left, front. right, up, down, front? Front. And is it an internal or an external sound? External. And is it loud or soft? Medium. And are there any feelings that are important? Frustrated. Frustrated. And where's the location of that frustrated feeling? My chest. And the size of the feeling, small, medium, large, or extra large? Uh, medium size. And the shape of it? Round. And what's the intensity on a scale of 1 through to 10? 8. Excellent. Well done. When you're ready, open your eyes. Okay. Now, can you think of a belief that is no longer true? And I want you to think of the belief that I am 18. And this belief for you is no longer true. Is that correct? Yes. Because how old are you? Uh, 43. 43. So this belief of I am 18 is no longer true. Is that correct? Yes. Excellent. Now, when you think of the belief that I am no longer 18, do you have a picture? Yes, I do. What's the picture of? The picture of that I'm about to hop on the aircraft and travel. Excellent. Good. Is the picture in black and white or color? Color. Near or far from you? Far. It's like I'm Bright like- or dim? Very bright. Excellent. And the location, is it towards the front, the back, the left, the right, up or down? Uh, it's on the right-hand side. And the size of the picture, small, medium, large or extra large? Uh, large. And is it associated or dissociated? Are you looking through your own eyes or do you see your body in the picture? See my body in the picture. Excellent. And are there any sounds that are important? If so, what are they? I uh, heard the uh, cap. You know, the cabin crew doing the PA welcome aboard, you know, to the flight to the Hawaii. And uh, I heard a lot of customers just talking. Excellent. And yeah. the location of the sound, front, back, left, right, up or down? Uh, at the right hand of my ear. Mm-hmm. And is it an internal or an external sound? 
external. And is it loud or soft? Very loud. And what are the feelings? Excited, motivated, looking forward to it. Excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the location of that feeling? Uh, is on my whole upper body. Whole upper body? Excellent. Yeah. And the size, small, medium, large, or extra large? It's large, my whole upper body. And the shape? My whole upper body. Mm -hmm. And is there a particular shape, or is it just the shape of your body? It's like a big, round bubble of my upper body. Excellent. And on a scale of 1 to 10, what's the intensity? 9. Excellent. Good. When you're, open, when you're ready, open the eyes. Okay. Now, what we want to do is we want to change the way that your mind encodes this limiting belief. And we want to take that old belief of I can't close at 50% and we want to turn it into the same sub-modalities of I'm no longer 18. So when you're ready, I want you to bring back to your mind that limiting belief of I can't close at 50%. That one where you're talking on Zoom, the client's giving you excuses and you don't try to overcome them. Let me know once you've got that back in your mind. Yes. Excellent. And I want you to take that picture that's near to you, and I want you to push it further away, as far away as the belief of I am no longer 18. And let me know when it's there. Yeah. Now yes. how do you feel about that old belief? I feel more relaxed, actually. I feel it's not really true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that better? Yeah. <laughs> I feel much better. And I want you to take it from bright and I want from dim, and I want you to make it bright. I want you to make it as bright as that picture when you're hopping onto the aircraft and you're about to travel. Yeah. Now mm -hmm. how do you feel about that old belief? I feel like I actually feel really like looking forward to it to have a sales call. Feel very excited and motivated. Excellent. And I want you to move that location from the front all the way over there to the right hand side. So that picture is now in the same location as the picture of you hopping on the aircraft and going to travel. Let me know when it's there. Yeah. Now, how do you feel about that old belief? I feel very excited. Um, yeah, I feel like I'm looking forward to it, like explore this sales call. Excellent. Good. And the sounds, have the sounds changed or are they still the same? It changed. It actually changed to, like, I have a lot of laughter with the customers. Mm -hmm. Like, we have a good chat, like, and... The prospect like really enjoy what I'm sharing, and then he, she said, "Oh, I'm in. Sign me up." Ah, excellent. And the feelings are they the same, or have they already changed? Yeah, it changes to them. Feeling really motivated, like oh, so looking forward. It's like yes, I nailed it. I close the sales. Excellent. I feel really good. Excellent. And just ask your unconscious mind just to lock those submodality shifts into place right there. You know the sound that Tupperware makes when you close the lid, just like that? Yep. Just lock them into place right there. Good. And now what do you think about that old belief? I don't think it's not there anymore. I now think that I can do it. I think I'm going to have a lot of fun this time with a lot of new different prospects. And I'm going to have a lot of fun. I'm going to close them. And I'm going to reach that goal of 50% on the Google Sheet. Excellent. What else do you think about that old belief? What old belief? No, I don't, I don't think of that anymore. I just think a lot of fun and closing the sales. And I can do it. Excellent. What else do you think about that old belief? It's not there anymore. Excellent. Wonderful. Now, Nini, I want you to think of a belief for you which is absolutely true. And I want you to think of the belief that the sun will rise tomorrow. Do you absolutely believe that the sun will rise tomorrow? Yes. Excellent. Good. Now, 
is that picture in black or white or colour? Colour. Near or far from you? Far. Bright or dim? Bright. And where's the location? Front, back, left, right, up or down? Up. And what's the size of the picture? Small, large, small, medium, large or extra large? Large. And is it associated or dissociated? Are you looking through your own eyes or do you see your body in the picture? I'm looking through my own eyes. And what are the sounds? There's no sound. You sure? Check again. Just no sound. No sound? No. Now, when you say no sound, does that mean no sound or is it the sound of stillness? What does that mean? Uh, I think just feel peaceful. Okay. So I feel peaceful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I want to go to the sound. Is the sound of stillness or is there just no sound in that image? What is it? There's no sound. No me. sound. Excellent. Yeah. And are there any feelings that are important? I feel calm. Mm -hmm. I feel peaceful. I feel, oh, it's another bright day. It's good. Excellent. And where is the location of that feeling? Oh, a chest. Mm -hmm. And is it small, medium, large, or extra large, that feeling? Uh, large. Mm -hmm. And what's the shape? Uh, it's like a round shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And on a scale of 1 to 10, what's the intensity? About 7. About 7. Excellent. Open your eyes when you're ready. Okay. Excellent. Now, when you think of the belief, I can close at 50%, do you have a picture? Yes. Excellent. Now, I want you to take that picture and I want you to make it the same colours, the same colours as the sun rising tomorrow. Mm -hmm. And I want you to have that picture far away from you. And I want you to have it the same distance as that sun rising tomorrow. Yes. And I want you to take the location of that picture and I want you to put it up in the same location as the sun rising tomorrow and increase that picture to the same large size. Now step into your body so you're looking through your own eyes. Mm -hmm. Now how do you feel? I feel very peaceful and relaxed. Excellent. And I want you to feel that peaceful and relaxed feeling right there in your chest. And make it a large, round shape. And make the intensity 7 out of 10. Now how do you feel? I feel very confident. I feel calm. I feel like I can take any call and make any sales. That's how I feel. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel so calm. Excellent. Yeah. And ask your unconscious mind just to lock that into place right there. Yep. And when you're ready, come all the way back to now. Open your eyes, come back into the room. Welcome back. Wow, good. Welcome back. Now, what do you believe? Well, I believe that I will be able to make the sales. I can make that 50% sales conversion rate. I see myself like nailing it and I really enjoy having those conversations with those prospects. And why do you believe that you have this new belief? Because I see that. <laughs> I just see that. I see that picture of I'm speaking to the customers. Excellent. And I want you to go a week out into the future. You're feeling confident and calm. You can take any call and make any sale. Yes. And your conversions are at 50%. What's happening one week from today? Because one week from today, you'll actually be on those calls. What's happening a week from today? Um, yeah, I see myself was so busy typing on the, you know, the, the keyboard and telling the team another 18K coming in. Please check. So I just see myself like just close, close, close and mark those green on the, <laughs> on the Google sheet 
in the program, in the program, in the program, in the program. And I feel really good. I feel like I have in the flow. I have my flow there. Excellent. And I want you to go a month out in the future, a month from now. What's happening one month from now? You're feeling confident, calm. You can take any call, make any sale. You've been so busy typing away, click, 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 telling the team another sale, another 18,000. Yeah. What's happening one month from now? Uh, I see myself at least start talking to um, the Western, uh, the, the Australian customers. See myself like, okay, tell the team I close this one. She's in the program. He's in the program. Um, yeah, I see myself like also doing the same. Mark green, 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 green. So it was a very good event that we make very, very good money. Excellent. And you've been speaking to the Australian market. You're marking everything green, green, green. It's a very good event. Yeah. What's happening one year from now? You've been feeling confident, calm. You can take any call, make any sale. Yeah. What's happening one year from now? Um, I actually see myself in Malaysia again with my husband. Uh, we're doing another 100 CN intensive. And actually on the stage sharing about um, the selling perspective from the NLP perspective. You know, teaching the predicates, but also doing the demo of limiting decision when it comes to selling with the with the student. And I see myself like having a lot of fun. Excellent, yeah. wonderful. And when you're ready, come back to me. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you deliver the sub modalities belief change script. And remember, each client is going to be different, so it's important to do your pre mapping. The pre mapping is understanding what's their goal. Understanding how this limiting belief is a problem and then getting clear on the limiting belief that they want to remove and then the belief that they want to replace it with. Towards the end, make sure you do your future pacing and that really locks the change in place. Go a week from now, a month from now and a year all the way out to the future and it locks that change in 365 days continuously from now. Enjoy the demonstration and go out and practice now with your NLP practitioner tools. Now that you've learned about limiting beliefs and how to eliminate them, it's time to take action. Remember, knowledge is powerful, but only when it's put into practice. So take what you've learned in this video and start applying it in your own life today. Challenge your limiting beliefs and replace them with empowering thoughts. And most importantly, practice, practice, practice. The more you practice, the more you will see the results in your life and your finances. So take the first step today and start eliminating those limiting beliefs that have been holding you back. Best of luck on your journey.